acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. I will be a servant Amen. of God. And I, I will to be obedient to this. And I, I believe tonight that we are going to see some great things <coughs> in this church. Amen. God is really, I mean, His Spirit, the, the Holy Ghost is strong in this place. Amen. And there's a reason for that. I know the Bible says that or two or three of you are gathered together. Yeah. And by day, there I'll be in the Amen. midst also. Amen. So, there may not be very many here tonight, but there's plenty to have church. Amen. And uh, <coughs> uh, I was thinking, and uh, I kind of hesitate to get up and move around in the service, and I know that God wants us to be free. Mm -hmm. I mean, if he says do something, then we need to do that. Amen. But a lot of times I feel like just walking up and down this aisle, just maybe not saying anything, Amen. but giving God praise. the praise and uh, yielding my body to Amen. him. Amen. He said uh, Amen. to make your body a sacrifice Amen. for God. Amen. And uh, oh, if we would do that, I mean, if a few of us would decide that we was going to let God have control mm -hmm. of our lives, the things that could happen in this place, I think of that a lot. The, 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 what would go forth from this place, the word that would go forth, people would hear about what was taking place in this church. And I, I believe that they would come in through curiosity if nothing else. Like the visitors we had this morning, yeah. they said that they're going to be back. And I believe that they're going to be back. And I believe that they're going to get saved and that God is going to do great things in that family. Amen. I mean, it could be the work of the, the families that's broke up, getting back together, and mm -hmm. every one of them gets saved. Amen. I'd like to see Amen. The, the neighbors across the road. I mean, I've got several of them needs to get saved to get to church. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to call her name tonight because it, it wouldn't be polite. Right. <laughs> but that whole creek up through there yes. needs God. Amen. Most of yes. them. Yes. And uh, they're good people. I love them. I love all my neighbors with all my heart. And they're, they're good people and they would help me uh, that some of them have stopped there. I'd be a stack of wood or put wood on the porch and they say, do you need help? And I'd say, no, I'm just out here working for exercise. <laughs> and I do, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy life because God has given me life. He's given me extra life. But, uh, uh, a few years ago, I didn't think I was going to live. I, I thought I was going to die because I was in such bad shape. But God has restored this body, the, the temple that I live in. God has restored it. He's, he's took away what the devil tried to do to me. And he's, he's, I believe he's put new parts in there. I, I believe that we serve a true and a living God Oh, I believe that we serve a healing God tonight. Amen. I believe that he's Amen. got power. If he had power to uh, create the universe out there, that if he had power to create this world and the, everything that he's created, do you know that we don't even know what's out there in space True. that God's created? That's right. We don't even know what's in the center of the earth. Uh, because nobody's never been there. 
and nobody's ever been all the way through the earth. <laughs> they may have been deep down in the earth, maybe miles down in the earth, uh, but they've never been all the way through the earth. We don't know what is down there. We don't know what's in the bottom of the ocean at the deepest places. They're discovering new fish all the time. We don't know that what God, in other words, he's far above us. Amen. But our ways are not God's way. Amen. That's why I want to know more about him. Amen. I can learn more every day. It don't make any difference if I live to be 90. I'm still going to be living to learn about God. Amen. Oh, that's where the joy of life comes in yes. for me. I know what Brother Danny means, getting on the tractor and singing. Uh, sometimes I sing on the lawnmower and I think, oh, I hope nobody hears me. <laughs> but it's the joy of the Lord being with you. And Amen. you will do something. Amen. And a lot of times I'm preaching when I'm sitting on my lawnmower on my tractor, I'm preaching. And I'm having a good time. And I think, oh, if there was just a couple of hundred people here, how much more joy this would be. <laughs> I love the Lord with all my heart. And I thank him. I, I, I really thank God for this place down here because we've got unity here. Amen. And that everyone that comes, I mean, uh, we're uh, working together for God. Amen. Everyone has got the same thing in mind that we want to uh, please God. Thank you, Jesus. But I may not be able to sing good like Brother Dale can, but <laughs> I can make a joyful noise. That's all the Bible. <laughs> the Bible just said make a joyful That's noise. Right. Now, if I was all soured up, I, I might not sound very good. <laughs> but as long as I've got the joy of the Lord in my heart, oh, I'm telling you something that I can sing and I can get so happy and singing that driving me. Down the highway, I was coming down to Piedmont one day, had my radio on, and the, there was people on there singing a gospel song, and I mean the Spirit of God was in that song. I had my hand up praising God. I kept one on the steering wheel. <laughs> I was praising God, and they was cars behind me. And uh, I know they probably thought I was... Uh, crazy or something, but it, it, when the Lord is in it, I, I tell you what, I, I believe that uh, we need to let people see Amen. how much joy that we've got for the Amen. Lord. Yes. I, I, I believe that that's a way that we can leave a testimony, Amen. Brother Dale, I believe Amen. I do. that it, if, we, if we completely surrender to God, People's not just going to feel what we got, but they can see it. And, and uh, like I told Rocky this morning, they might go by my house and see me with my hands up. They nodded his head. Yes, uh, they've probably done that because uh, a lot of times I'm sitting on my front porch with my hands up praising God. Now, I'm not doing that to show off. I'm doing it because I love God. Amen. And, and uh, if someone comes by and they see, then if they want to know what I'm doing, they can stop and I'll tell them what I'm yes. doing. <laughs> I'll give me a chance to give them a little bit of a testimony Amen. about the, how good that God is. Amen. You know what a blessing it is to wake up when you're my age and you feel just as good as you did the day before. Yeah. <laughs> that don't mean the devil don't try to do things. Right. He tries to work on my life sometimes, and, and he'll make me try to make me think you're getting old and you're getting ready to get feeble, but I'm not. I'm, I'm going to fight them feeble just as long as I've got God's spirit in me Amen. to fight. Amen. 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 Um, I praise him tonight. Amen. Uh, 
I may not preach very long. I, I thought about not preaching at all and just letting you say, but uh, I, I just, the, the scriptures like Romans say, I will <coughs> present my body before God holy and acceptable mm -hmm. because that's what it says to do. And the, we, I know it's a fight every day that we have to fight just we have to fight our own selves i mean we have to let god take charge of us yes or we'll get out of line yeah. i mean uh, we we live in a natural body and the, the <coughs> our mind will get to thinking things that are not right with god he said my ways are not your ways and your ways are not my ways. His ways are so far, so much higher than our ways are. And then you know I've seen people that got new cars and stuff like that and I've been guilty of myself. Thinking God really did bless me. And, uh, when I was sixteen or seventeen I got a 57 Chevy, brand new one. And uh, I thought, boy, I'm, I'm really blessed. But you know what? The payments was so high on that. I only had about $4 a week left to put gas in it. Back then, gas was 20 cents a gallon. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? It didn't take very long to run $4 worth of gas through that car and I got to thinking I'd be a lot better off with an older car <laughs> one that didn't have that maybe a thirty dollar a month payment or something like that and I got rid of that 57 chin got me a 55 Pontiac <laughs> and that it was a good car I mean it's a good car I think I give about 600 for it something like that but a lot of times we count blessings when actually they're just our lusts that we're wanting something, you know. And we think if we could just have this or that or something else, how happy we would be. I've thought of that lots of times. Back when I was young, I'd think if I could just get this car or that car or, you know, whatever it might be, that would be the answer to what I need. But you know what the answer was that I was looking for? For the satisfaction of knowing that I was saved. Yes. yes. Amen. I, I know I'm off on a completely different message than I usually preach tonight. But I'm just preaching what I feel like that God wants me to preach. And the, uh, we need to seek God all the time yes, we do. for His ways to know that what we're doing, the older I get, the more yielded I am to God because I found out living the, a Christian life for 36 years, I found out that God's ways are the ways that I will go. Yes. I, 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 I don't. I just stay home a lot and I meditate on the Lord. I don't get out, run around much, but even though I could, if I wanted to, I'm free to go and do what I want to do. But I feel like that God wants me to be there, be at home, in, in case someone would need me to pray for them. And a lot of times someone will come by there that need prayer or they need to talk or something. Uh, Mike come by, uh, I guess it's been a couple months now, and he really got sick while he was there. And the church needs to remember him because he's taking treatments, I guess, and for that cancer. If uh, M1 lung it's too bad to be operated on. It's yes. got that big Mike yeah. out. And he, he really needs <coughs> your prayers. I've not seen 
or I think it's been about two months and I've not seen him. But last time I seen him, he had really gone down. But it don't take a cancer very long to pull you down. He got cancer in both lungs. Uh, one, one he said is as big as a golf ball, I believe, I guess it's a tumor. And anyway, he said that it had went so far that nerves and stuff would grow mm -hmm. attached to it and they, they couldn't take it out because mm -hmm. of the damage it would do. But let me tell you something tonight. There is much to pray about, people to pray for. Yeah. If, if we really would yield ourselves to God, there wouldn't be any spare time. Yeah. That's right. it, it, I mean, it would take all of our time just to pray. I know I've got down to pray or sat down and when you pray long enough that you get in the spirit, mm -hmm. God will start bringing thoughts to you, different people, and the, there won't be any end to it. And that's the way that God wants us to yeah. be. Amen. Uh, every day that we can be that way, I know some of you've got to work, but I don't have any excuse. That, that's the thing of it. The, my time, God owns my time if I would let him have it. I mean, I, I, I could really be a, I don't want to sound like I'm uh, bragging, I don't mean to be a boasting, but I could be a full-time warrior for God. Yeah. I mean, I, I've got the opportunity and I think that's why that God has let me live as long as I'm living is to be able to get transformed from this world <clears throat> to get in the will of God and stay there. Amen. I mean, there's a strong pulling out there in the world. Yes. And that I'm not just talking about evil. But I'm talking about wants and needs, things that you need to do all the time, that you have to think, is this more important than what God needs me to do? I mean, I, I've got work up there on my place, and if I would do it, probably take three months to get it done. But one thing I don't have, I'm, I'm not financially able to do the things I need to do. And another thing, I don't like to do some things I need to do. <laughs> yeah. And another thing, I just put it off, put it off. And, then, and if we don't watch, we get into that place of putting off what God wants us to Amen. do. I think that's mostly the point that God told me to make tonight that we we need to read Romans 1 and really live by that and Romans 2 and, and, and even Romans 3 because it gets <laughs> into the love part how that we're supposed to love one another Oh, I want to thank that everybody in this church loves me. And if I feel like someone don't, it hurts. Oh, it, it hurts and it hurts bad. But I don't want anyone to think that I don't love you because I do. I, I love everyone here. And the more that comes in, the happier I get. But I, I'm not somebody that's going to say, it's not worthwhile. If there's if there's only two or three of us here, I'm going to be here to, to do whatever I can do as long Amen. as the Lord gives me life and he gives me breath to do it. Amen.
I thank him for all he is a good God. Yes. I'm, I'm just going to pause because I think that I've preached what God wants me to preach. Uh, unless somebody here has got a need, if you've got a need that, that we need to pray about, I'm just going to close today. Anybody got a need? <laughs>